Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a question that many developers encounter when transitioning from Angular to Ionic. Our viewer is curious about the differences in routing between these two frameworks. Specifically, they notice that in Angular, routing is defined using a constant with the type routes, while in Ionic, a component is passed to the for root function. Let's explore this intriguing difference and clarify how routing works in both environments. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's start by understanding the difference between Angular routing and Ionic routing. In Angular, we define our routes using a constant of type routes. In this example, we have several routes defined, including a redirect and a wildcard route. This structure is typical for Angular applications. Now, let's look at Ionic routing. In Ionic, instead of passing a constant with routes, we pass a component to the for root function. This means that Ionic is designed to work with a root component that manages the navigation stack, which is different from Angular's approach. In summary, while both Angular and Ionic use routing, Ionic's approach is more focused on mobile navigation patterns, leveraging components for a smoother user experience. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Ionic, you push a view screen from another view. In contrast, Angular uses predefined route mappings. For example, navigating to app login redirects you to the login route associated with the login component. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.